Hey, I'm uh, David Chavis. I uh, fish on Team Main Event. The boat's based out of Carolina Beach. It's a 41-foot uh, Onslow Bay powered by quad Mercury racing 450s. We did fly a private to Key West and to Clearwater, which was pretty pretty sweet. Drive up and get your own private car and take you to the take you to the boat. Yeah, it's, it's neat that they fly. I've never flew private with them, but I've seen videos of their you know their trips and stuff like that and. Uh, I think it would be neat, maybe one day I'll get to do it. <laughs> yeah, Chris, I mean, he likes to play, he loves to gamble. Um, as far as the fishing wise goes, he's, he's sporadic on days to coming and going. You know, he toured the town yesterday while we were out fishing without him. But mainly, he's there for the first day, and the second day, he's sporadic on that day. Yeah, he moves from one seat to the next. Yeah, get the bean bag for a nap. <laughs> All right, later. <laughs>
Probably so. You guys got some good baits? Oh, we have great baits. We got bluefish from Jacksonville that made it over here. Up to the river. The secret sauce. We're gonna make a long run to the south, and it's rough. So it's gonna take a long time to get there. And I'm sure there's gonna be about 10 other boats where we're going. And in the past, we haven't caught a lot of fish over here, but fish we have caught have been decent ones. Never won anything over here, but hopefully we can change that. I love king fishing. For one minute, guys, one minute. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You guys As teams start pulling up to their spots, it seems as though many of them have the same game plan. So we just did like a little over a hundred mile run. We just got here to the spot and there's six or seven other boats working it right now. It looks good, it's marking up. I'm gonna grind out and see what happens. Digger Rich realizes this fish isn't the right one. Captain Alex decides to break it off and not waste any more time fighting the fish. Time to put the lines back in and try for another bite. Meanwhile, over on the 39-foot front runner, for real. Oh, no. It's been shaking the console the whole time. She's flooded. Oh, this guy. Hey! Oh. Woo! Go! Run, 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 run. What the hell is that thing? That's our weed whacker blender. That's what gets us through the tough days and and the championship. So hopefully it'll be a championship. I can guarantee no one else has a weed whacker blender on board no, right now. That's both. Yeah. Look at how pretty one that is. One shot of rum. Hey, they're still fighting that fish over there. So are we. We're about to be fighting one too. You're about to be fighting the handles. Woo! <laughs> that thing's got some kickback. <laughs> For the boys, he feels pissed he doesn't have one. That's great. Proper blender. While the rest of the fleet struggles to get the right bite, Digger Rich thinks they've finally hooked a kingfish. That the one? Not the one, but, but it's a one, right? Another guy. They're coming up here. Is that good or more? Although it's the right species, it's not the size they're looking for. The clock is ticking, and there's not much time left to make it back before the scales close. So here we are in Clearwater Beach, Florida on a beautiful, sunny, really windy day for the second leg of the Kingfish Mayhem Pro Series. The forecast was calling for uh, 10 to 15 knot winds, but it's blowing more like 20 to 25 knots today. So it's made for a really rough day for these guys. I know they're out there, they're putting the boats through the paces and uh, looking for that one big fish. 
There was talks last night at the captain's meeting of guys running upwards of 120 to 130 miles to some spots uh, well deep into the Gulf to look for these big king mackerel. And uh, we're excited to see what happens. It's uh, about an hour till we open up the scales. The wind is cranking, but we're ready to see some big fish here in Clearwater Beach at the second leg of the Kingfish Mayhem Pro Series. Mercury powered front runner Team Game Changer is first to pull up to the dock. <laughs> Team Game Changer. First fish, Clearwater. 2365. 2365. That's right. <laughs> hey, the battle looks heavy, boys. Nice work. All right, here we go. Mercury powered Team Young Guns. Wow. Stud. Oh. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, call it, Jimmy. That's okay. Team Young Guns. 55 45. 55 45. Mercury Power Team Young Guns, you guys. Great job. You guys worked for it. Dude, yes, sir, we did. Lance, good job, man. Thank you. We're Appreciate it, Jimmy. We're water right now. Uh, Conditions got really, really nasty today, and you guys just hung a 55.45 pound kingfish here in Clearwater. What you, what, how you feeling right now? Honestly, we're completely nervous because we won the start in a big way this morning. It was really rough. We put the hammer down. We ran 114 miles one way, got to our number, a lot of AJs, a lot of cooters, a lot of sharks. The guys were getting antsy. We didn't have a fish. And I said, you know, let's work the outside of the wreck, and we got a really good bite, put the fish in the boat. We uh, end up having some water in the fuel, so we had issues. We had to take the water separators off, and uh, knew at that point we had a 114 mile run back and a strong, strong head sea. And it was every bit of six to eight coming back. It was literally brutal. And coming up the coast, we thought in the shallow water would lay down, and it really didn't. It was still stepped up four to six foot. We're excited, great circuit, love fishing the pros, and uh, we'll see what happens. A lot of boats to come and weigh, and uh, representing the East Coast and the Mayhem circuit. Well, it takes one, so let's hope Thank it holds, you. man. All right. Good job, Thank guys. Thank you. Appreciate through. it. All right. Okay. All right. What's the boat number, guys? 20. Boat 20, set for life. Nice fish, guys. Come on. 30.50. 40.50, what? guys. Give it up for Team Set for Life, guys. Good job. Ready. How are the conditions today? Very rough. We, uh, we're expecting four footers, five footers, and we got a couple of sevens, eights out there. It was nasty. I know you guys worked hard for that fish. I, uh, the, the forecast kind of told us it looked like it was going to lay down throughout the day, and it just kept blowing harder and harder. Absolutely. So all day it long. Definitely got rougher. Yeah. Yeah, you guys yeah. make a big run like most of these other guys I'm hearing? Uh, 40 miles out. OK, perfect. So Pretty much guys, straight out to the west. That's very cool. Very cool. You guys got a nice fish. I believe you're sitting in second place right now, so let's see awesome. if it holds, all right? Uh, I hope good. so. Good job, fellas. Sweet. Awesome Thank you. Job. Thank you, Jimmy. All right, guys, next up is going to be Deja 2. Second fish, Deja 2. 29.30, 30. 29.30, 30, guys, good job. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, give it up one more time. 2021 Clearwater Beach Kingfish Mayhem Pro Series champs, Young Guns, guys, good job. All right, good morning everybody. Lance Irvine uh, from Young Guns Fishing Team. We run a Mercury powered 43 Midnight Express. We uh, won the pro yesterday with a uh, really nice 55.4. Today is the, uh, the Mayhem Clearwater Open Tournament. As you can see, it's pretty sloppy out and uh, we stayed pretty close. We're only 50 miles out of the inlet. We're gonna pop the kite up in a bit and uh, hopefully catch a fish because I don't think it's going to take much over 30 to place in the top 10 today. So we're just going to stay out front and get salty and hopefully we can put another one in the boat. Oh, 
Oh my god, Doug! Doug! Why is it terrible? Yeah, boy, get it! Can I puke in peace, dog? Damn! I got you. Hi, Frank! Leader. There's the leader. Is that a blackfin? Like Bro, if that's a blackfin, we're in the we're in a blackfin Calcutta. You know that, right? Biggin. Alright, watch yourself. Watch yourself, bro. That ain't no two. Yeah, that is a blackfin. It's a fing blackfin, bro. Nice blackfin. Dude, nice black. yeah. Oh, tuna, tuna Calcutta. Good. Hell yeah! Woo! Blackfin tuna going on the leaderboard. What? We got the kite game on, boy. You see it? Oh, we're tight. You got the big gaff? It's right here. No, Just grab the rod. Another. Oh, king. Blackfin. Black it's a big blackfin. Please get another bait out. Stud blackfin. 70 feet of water on the kite in clear water, right? I want to swim. East Coast game. There you go, Dougie. You got him. Right there, right there, right there, Doug. Got him. Okay. You just get blowed up on again? Dude, you're tight. You're tight. What? Come on. That's one not fighting like a tune, is it, Reese? Oh, what is that? Holy what is that? Dude, is that a big king? Watch out. Get the big king. Get the big gap. Big king. 40 pound king. Get ready, boys. Holy. Big king. Big freaking king. Dude. Somebody back up, he's right there. Somebody get on the wheel. Watch all the lines! Where you at? Right here, straight down. Oh, big hand. Get him, get him, 50! Get him, get him, get him! Get him. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go! That's what we do! Woo! What do we do, you guys? Holy f***! Oh, my God! That's what we do! Oh, my God! That's the best two in a row! Holy crap, I'm not sick though. Lance Irvine, Young Guns Fishing Team. We're in uh, clear water. We're fishing in Mayhem Open today. And uh, very rough. We decided to do our East Coast thing with the boys. And what they like to do is up the kite. They end up with two black fins and another stud king. We believe the fish is over 50. We're back at the scales. It's uh, 2 p.m. It would be a blessing if we can repeat and go open and pro the same weekend. I don't know if it's ever being done, but it's up to the man above. An amazing, amazing weekend. We're excited. And uh, thank you to my team. These guys rock. There you go. It's three o'clock and the scales are now open. Can Young Gun secure another victory on day two? Dougie, how'd it go? Well, well, man, we got another good one. See how it is. It's bigger yes, than yesterday? It's about the same. Good one. Good, good fish. Alright, guys, we got Team Young Guns. They won the pros yesterday. Alright, we're gonna weigh the tuna first for the tuna Calcutta. Team Young Guns, work your power. Here we go. 22.35 on the black fin. 22.35 on the black fin. And they got a big team. To match up yesterday. Yesterday they caught a 55.4, and we're back here today with one just as well. This one has no stomach at all. Like yeah. it, it, it's caved oh, in. Yeah. yeah. Local team Fountain of Youth is next to arrive at the scale. They say they have a good fish too. We got a big one. All right, we ready at the score table? Fountain of Youth, 72. 4865 for Fountain of Youth, guys. Nice fish. Good job, guys. Starting off with a bank right here. Really nice fish game hub. Scale's been open for only 15 minutes. We've already got two fish over 45 pounds. We weighed a 51 and a 48. We're excited to see what else is coming in today. All right, guys, what's the boat number? 47, right? Single source? All right. Got a couple nice fish. They got, uh, what do you got, three? Yeah. 
All right, second fish for single source. 39.30, 39.30. Guys, nice, nice catch, guys. Jump in, let's get some pictures. Lance Irvine, Young Guns Fishing Team. We just swept the Clearwater Mayhem Pro with a 55.4 and the Open with a 51.5, I believe. Two stud fish, two different areas, rough as hell. That fish we caught today was basically 20 miles right out of the inlet, in close. Amazing, we won the pro start with the 43 Midnight Express powered by Quad Mercury 400s. We're pumped. East Coast, baby, coming. See you guys in St. Augustine. Their 55 pound pro day fish puts Team Young Guns at the top of the leaderboard heading into St. Augustine. Team Set for Life also capitalized with their 40 pound king pushing them into second place. Fairwater Beach was good to Team Young Guns, guys. They took home over $74,000 this weekend, guys. Give it up for them one more time. Two solid fish over 50 pounds. Visit MeetMayhemTournaments.com for more info, and don't forget to follow us on social media.